We've been downloading quite a few plugins in this website analysis section in order to fix our site. So I want to show you one called the P3 Performance Profiler. Now I've already downloaded it. If you search P3 in this, in this uh, plugin search section, it'll come up as the first option. And once you've installed it, you go to your installed plugins. And this is a plugin you want to delete after you've run it. You'll see it here, P3, Plugin Performance Profile, and you click Scan Now. Now I've already done a scan, so I'm, I'm going to show you what my scan looked like. And it's going to tell you which plugins on your site are taking the most time to load. How many plugins you have in total, and it'll give you a little graph here. So you can see the back WordPress up. Looks like it's taking up the most space. Um, and then the WordPress SEO after that. And you'll see that it's uh, almost 13% of the page load time is plugins. Some people try to say limit the amount of plugins you have on your site. I've seen people who have 50 to 100 plugins, so we only have 25 right now. It's only 13% of the page load time. But if you find one on here that's taking up a lot of space that might be a little redundant, or you could probably get rid of it and it wouldn't affect your site that much, and it's going to help speed up the page load time, I would definitely uh, get rid of it. And again, delete this P3 performance profile or plugin after you're done running it, okay, after you figure out the problems. This is going to give you a detailed breakdown if you click on detailed breakdown. It'll tell you that the WordPress itself took almost two seconds to download, and then the theme after that, and then the plugins are a very small percentage. So this is the P3 plugin performance profiler. Now, as you saw, the back WP up plugin was taking up the most time as far as my page speed went. If you've saved your backup to an external source, so Dropbox was one of the options, you can delete that plugin and it's not going to delete the backup, right? Because it's, it's in your own Dropbox folder. However, if you save it to a folder like we did in the example, you will lose that backup when you delete the plugin. So, if you have a Dropbox account or if you want to just set one up so you can save your backups in there, it's a great idea. Really the only reason that the back WP up is required is because some plugins, when you use them or update them, in the past some people have had issues where it deleted certain pieces of data and you just want to be careful. But if you use the plugin and nothing goes wrong, feel free to delete it as long as you've saved your backup to an outside source.